Hey friends, it's uh, Wednesday, July 28th. I hope that you are well. I just drove back from Erie uh, where I'm with the youth group on mission this week and I'll go back there tonight to be with them for the end of the week. But I wanted to, to uh, let you know uh, some things about that week. But first of all, just wanted to say what a great Sunday morning we had. Uh, not only worship here in the sanctuary at 30 this past week, uh, which was 100 plus people, but then we had uh, uh, several hundred folks gathered together at Hartwood at 10 o'clock, came together with the Hampton and Parkwood congregations. It really was a wonderful uh, time to be together and offer our praise to God. I, I hope those of you who were there enjoyed it. I'm sure because it was such a success that we will attempt to do it again next summer at least. And um, we thank God for the, the unity of the body of Christ that was uh, witnessed to on, on Sunday at, at Hartwood. It really was fabulous. So a little bit about uh, the mission trip. So there are nine of us up in Erie. Um, there are five, I'm sorry, five junior high girls uh, who are on their first mission trip ever. Uh, and then there are two graduates, Peter and Sam Baird, um, who uh, have been on many, many mission trips. And Jen Callahan and I are the adults and we're having a great, great time. Uh, I left this morning and I asked the kids, so if you are going to describe the week so far uh, to others at the church, uh, what would you say? And the first word from one of these junior high girls was hot. It, it's been hot because we're staying in a church with no air conditioning. It's sort of warm and a, a little close in there. So uh, we're outside weeding a lot, doing a lot of uh, physical and manual labor in service to others. Uh, so they're sweating and they're doing uh, really uh, good work, but it is hot for them. So uh, they will appreciate getting home uh, as I have even just today being in the air conditioning. Uh, one of them said, this is just a new experience. And I think her eyes were being opened to a different part of the world that she's never experienced before. I mean, we're staying downtown Erie and um, there are homeless that we encounter every day. Uh, there are all kinds of uh, poverty issues that we are working with uh, in every situation. And so it really is uh, kind of an eye opener for uh, a lot of our kids. In fact, uh, one of them said it's been eye-opening. I mean, that was, that was the, the phrase, eye-opening. Another one said it's just been awesome. They're having a good time, and, and it was uh, uh, brand new for them, so they are really thriving. Uh, and finally, the, the last comment that I wanted to share with you I thought was so profound, and this came from Sam Baird. He said, uh, so many people are generous with their love for Jesus. And I just found like that was a great summary. Not only are they uh, sharing uh, their work with um, those who are uh, in real need, but we're surrounded with a team of people who truly are both gentle and generous uh, in their love for Jesus and in their good works because of their love for Jesus. So I think in many ways, this is life transforming and life transitioning for uh, those who are on mission. So continue to pray for them. Finally, my last word about this week in Erie is this morning before I left to come home, uh, we saw John Tiernan. And uh, some of you will remember that name. Others don't know who that is. But John Tiernan grew up in this church at Elfenwild. And he is a pastor now up in Erie. He's the son of David and Nancy Tiernan. And um, He's doing great work there, and he was thrilled to come and, and meet these uh, kids from uh, Elfenwild Church where he grew up, and he shared with them that it was his first mission trip uh, to Toronto in the 10th grade that changed the course of his life, changed the direction of what it meant for him to follow Jesus. Uh, so that's how powerful these experiences can be. And so thank you for sending us and for sending these kids. Thank you for praying for all of us. Um, and I look forward to many, many more opportunities. I also realized it's been a long time since I've been on a youth mission trip and I really am the oldest guy there with all the other groups. So I have enjoyed seeing the energy 
and the thoughtfulness with which everyone is serving. I wanted to let you know that tonight, uh, Eric Dudgeon is getting married to his fiance, Katerina. Pray uh, for their marriage as they begin their new life together. They're moving quickly in August to Illinois where Katerina will go into veterinarian school and Eric will be finding employment there. Pray for them as God brings them together as husband and uh, wife this evening. I wanted to share uh, this text from Ephesians 2, which is one of my favorites, and sort of uh, do full circle and reconnect it with our mission experience this week. Uh, Beginning at verse 8, it says this, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not by works, so that no one can boast. And the apostle is just reminding us that it's God's grace that saves us. It's not our good works. But then he goes on in verse 10 and says, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And I think that's one of the things the kids are learning this week in Erie, uh, that it's one thing to have an experience of accepting Jesus, of believing in Christ, of receiving him as Lord and Savior. Uh, But there's a second level or kind of another conversion that happens that you're reminded not only of God's love for you, but then why God loves you. And one of the reasons God loves us is so that we will go out and do these good works that he has prepared in advance for us to do. And so uh, there are a number of transformations in the Christian life. And the the first one, that initial conversion, is to say, hey, Jesus loves me and died for me. Uh, God loves me that much. God is just an amazing, gracious, and merciful uh, God who made me and redeemed me in Christ. And and I received that. And I, I don't have to live in shame or guilt. I don't have to be bound by my sinfulness, but free to be all of who God desires me to be. And the second part of that is who does God desire us to be? But he desires us to be that workmanship, that creation that we were made uh, to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. So it's all about God, um, but it's also about us receiving uh, and then also giving. And it's also us about um, believing and it's about us doing. And so that's one of the things that uh, this Mission Week has uh, challenged us all with. What are we doing as God's people? And it's really a challenge always for the church to welcome people in, in their brokenness. And also to be able to heal enough so that we will go out to do God's good work. And um, so it's, it's both and, it's not one or the other. And uh, I just want to encourage us in, in, to continue to grow in whatever stage of faith we are. If it's coming to that place of accepting God's love or if it's being challenged in that place where we need to grow in being God's disciples and doing the good work he has prepared for us. As I mentioned at the beginning, it's so great to be in worship this past Sunday. And I hope that we will see you this coming Sunday. It's August 1st, first Sunday of the month. We will observe the Lord's Supper. We're back in the sanctuary at 8.30 and 1110. There's adult Sunday school. Uh, there's children's church at 1110. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you and uh, hope you're doing well. Take care. God bless you.